Hi! So in this video, I want to design my first amigurumi or like a base. It's going to be my first time doing it. I'm probably going to make some mistakes and I've only crocheted based on other patterns, but I'm not sure how to design my own thing out of my head. I've drawn this a couple days ago. I went to make a pattern so I have a base on how to do other and I've looked and I haven't found a base that is like this that has like all the elements that I want. I don't want it to be too tall so I'll aim for 15 centimeters and I want it to be sitting because I think it's gonna be easier to just display on my desk and I'm not so not sure how which leg I want if I want just around sausage like the the arms or if I want to have little feet shaped I'll get to that after I'll get to it when I get to it so I want to make it around 15 centimeters right so like kind of tall ish I don't mind if it'll end up being taller than that but I do want to have it sitting to be around this size so not too massive and I suck at math but according to my math which wasn't the math actually I just looked at a ruler and I was like okay this looks good enough I want the head to have seven centimeters tall to be seven centimeters tall so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do which is good because it's going to be round so it is easier it's some there's a shape that I'm familiar with I'm not sure how I'm going to make that, but one thing at a time. So that's what I have so far, just increasing from the little magic ring in a circle like this, expanding, because amigurumi is a spiral, so I think this should be enough to start like going down, right? I think it would be big enough to have a 7 centimeter saw head. And if it's too big, then we can just unravel and do it again. Hello? Yeah. If it's too big, I can just unravel and proceed. And that's what I have so far. I'll keep working and I'll record back the progress. So, I've done up to row 11. I'm starting to decrease, and that's what I have so far. It's looking pretty round-ish. I'm starting to think if I should have added a, one or more rows of single crochet. But I'll finish this and see what it looks like. So, I'll keep doing that. I'll keep I'm gluing the pattern that I wrote and see what it looks like when it's finished. Yeah, it's going to be a little shorter than 7 centimeters, but it's fine. So I'm just stuffing it now. Make sure that it has enough stuffing so it's really round and firm. So I finished. Something happened. And I think I'm going to have, like, made some mistakes because it wasn't supposed to be 13 and 8 it was supposed to 
mirror the top so go 18 12 I probably missed a stitch or I fucked up somewhere but it is generally round and I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna roll with it um, I think I need it needs a little bit more stuffing before it's like completely round and is it? I think I'm going to finish the ball. Just have like a little ball as a head. And sew it on to the body later. When I do have a body. It's going to be pretty similar to starting round. Just won't go that far. I'm thinking of starting with eight and see what happens. I've done with eight in the first uh, row a couple times but like I didn't notice a difference like a visual difference so it's more so exper experimentation than anything else I don't know if leaving, if starting with 8 actually made a difference or not. I feel like it, I got to the size quicker with less rows. And that was cool, but it does have like big gaps. Like it leaves some gaps in like the first row. But I'm not too bothered because that is the bomb. So it's going to be down most of the time I started making the little arm but I realized that six single crochets and then increase it's going to make a massive arm especially compared to the little, little guy so instead because I did learn that it didn't um, work I'm just going to make a magic ring six single crochets inside a magic ring and just keep making six rows making rows of six single crochet to make a little tube and that's gonna be the arm I I'll report back when I have notes on how many rows and stuff but I just wanted to show that something that I tried didn't actually work the way that I thought it would. So I think it's looking cute. I'll say that's the right size for the arm. I'll just a magic ring, six single crochets, and one, two, three, four rows of single crochet. So 
how it's all stuffed now. You can see like the little slope here, which is what I wanted. It matches pretty well with the sketch. That that was the alternative, but I'm glad I I could work this one because it's really it's cuter than just a round thing. Because you already have the rounds, the cylinders for arms. So that's what it looks. It took it takes a little shaping, like pressing it down on the floor and like pushing with the the fingers to get that a little shape. But I'm very happy with it. I could even consider like putting some cardboard or like some plastic in the soles. So it keeps the shape better. It's a little oval shape. 